For centuries, the mighty Mekong River has been the lifeblood of Southeast Asia. Its waters have nourished civilizations, connected communities, and shaped the very landscape of nations like Cambodia. But what if there was another way to unlock the potential of these waters? What if a new artery could bring prosperity and a fresh perspective to a nation eager to grow? Cambodia, despite its long coast, faces a unique geographical challenge. Much of its inland trade currently relies on riverine routes that pass through neighboring Vietnam to reach international waters. This means additional costs, transit times, and a degree of dependency that Cambodia is now actively seeking to mitigate. Imagine a farmer in Batambang or a factory owner in Phnom Penh. Their goods often travel hundreds of kilometers through another country just to get to a ship. This brings us to a groundbreaking infrastructure project, the Techo Funan Canal. More than just a ditch dug through the earth, this canal is envisioned as a strategic waterway set to span approximately 180 kilometers connecting Phnom Penh directly to the Cambodian coastline in Kep province near the Vietnam border. This isn't just about moving water, it's about rerouting destiny. Let's break down the Techo Funan Canal. Stretching for 180 kilometers, it's designed to be a substantial waterway, capable of accommodating large barges and smaller cargo vessels, with an estimated width of 100 meters upstream and 80 meters downstream, and a depth of 5.4 meters, it's engineered for efficiency. The project comes with an estimated price tag of 1.7 billion US dollars and is expected to take around four years to complete. This isn't just a local undertaking, it's a significant national investment, with Cambodia's own resources and potential partnerships driving it forward. The economic benefits are the primary driving force. The Techo Funan Canal promises to drastically reduce shipping times and costs for goods transported between Phnom Penh and the sea. This direct access to international shipping lanes means Cambodian exports can reach global markets more competitively. It's expected to spur industrial development along its banks, create new jobs, and boost tourism in the coastal areas. Imagine the fresh produce, textiles, and manufactured goods reaching their destinations faster and cheaper, a significant competitive edge for Cambodian businesses. But the canal is more than just an economic venture, it's a strategic move for national sovereignty. By establishing its own direct maritime route, Cambodia reduces its reliance on transit through other countries. This strengthens its economic independence and control over its trade flows. For a nation that has historically navigated complex regional dynamics, this canal represents a tangible step towards greater self-reliance and strategic autonomy. It's about taking control of its own future. Like any large-scale infrastructure project, the Techo Funan Canal is not without its considerations. Environmental impact assessments are crucial to ensure the delicate ecosystems of the Mekong Delta are protected. Concerns have been raised by neighboring countries regarding potential impacts on water flow and salinity, particularly in Vietnam's Mekong Delta. Dialogue and cooperation are essential to address these issues, ensuring sustainable development for all riparian nations. 
This is a complex regional environment, and thoughtful planning is paramount. As Cambodia embarks on this ambitious journey, the Techo Funan Canal stands as a symbol of its aspirations for a more prosperous and self-reliant future. It represents a bold step in reshaping its economic landscape and strengthening its position within Southeast Asia. The coming years will see this vision take shape, transforming rivers and land into a vital artery of commerce and connection. It's a testament to human ingenuity and national ambition. The Techo Funan Canal is more than just a waterway. It's a declaration, a declaration of Cambodia's intent to forge its own path, to unlock its full potential, and to write a new chapter in its rich and vibrant history a new lifeline for a nation on the rise.